love it. So nice and quiet in Salai. Just doing a quick this overview. One, this one are the more famous paintings. Uh -huh. This one is sketched by Wanlun, one of the famous painters here in the Philippines. Okay. This one done by Jose Rizal, our national oh, hero. Yes. Are you familiar with him? I am. Good morning, my friends. This is David, your traveling tutor. And today I'm going to be traveling to three different ancestral homes in Talisai. Last week we went to the ruins and I showed you what that looked like. But today I'm headed to three different ancestral homes to showcase some of the lost architecture of the Philippines. We're headed out with our good friend Daniel, who's driving today. And uh, we're going to show you the sights. Okay guys, one of our first couple of stops is going to be for two of the houses is going to be in the town of Salai, which is, uh, it's about 10 kilometers from Bacolod City. But I wanted to just stop real quick and show you this wonderful Catholic church here. It's pretty awesome. It's a cathedral, San Diego. We're in San Diego, not in California, but it's a lie city, Negros Occidental. Look at that beautiful cathedral. And as I walk and show you the cathedral, there's all the different uh, saints, San Juan, San Felipe. Some are missing. I don't know if they got demoted or uh, where they went. St. Bartholomew, beautiful, beautiful. Catholic Church. I'll see if I can head in and just take a, a brief. All right, friends, our first stop, Popolina Museum. First house to be opened in the public in 1962. Good morning, sir. Okay, I'm standing on the front porch of this uh, ancestral house. Beautiful front yard in Salai City, Negros Occidental, Philippines. And this is considered a heritage house. I'm not sure what that means, but we'll ask our tour guide to describe what a heritage house is. But it looks like it's wood clad, has a lot of beautiful overhanging soffits, which help, you know, shade the house and a nice big lot. Again, we've got this blooming tree here. The frangapani, love it. So nice and quiet in Salai. Just kind of blown away with how nice it is. So today I'm here with... Rene of Filenia, the brother of the oh. one who made this house into a museum. Wonderful, uh -huh. wow. So we're and getting... my nephew. We've already met. Okay, nice to meet you both, gentlemen. So we're gonna take a tour today of the house. But are you going to tape me? I'm taping you now. I, I can't speak very good English. <laughs> your, Eng your English is really good, my oh, friend. No, no. It's very good. No. <laughs> can you tell me a little bit about the history of the house? I will start with the street. Wonderful. Okay. Let's do that. Do you know why the street is called Cinco de Noviembre? Uh, November five. Yeah. Why? I don't know. <laughs> because that is the time the Filipinos revolted against Spain. Okay. That's November 5. And then there is a eatery there at the corner. Mm -hmm. They call it 1898, 1898. Because that's the year they revolted against Spain. So okay. November 5, 1898. So that's an important date in the yes, Philippines. Yes, that's why it's Cinco de Noviembre. Oh, okay, okay, good This to is know. where they started the revolt against Spain. Right here. On the street. On the street. There at the corner. <laughs> you can ask, are you uh, taking the taxi? I am. You can ask the taxi driver there to take you there where there is canyon. That's where they started the revolt. That, that's where they assembled. Really? There's, Amazing. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. <laughs> and also this one, this cauldron thing. 
Mm -hmm. Before there was no uh, central sugar central here in the uh, in in Negros. Uh -huh. So when they make uh, convert this uh, sugar, they get the from the sugar cane. They get the liquid from the sugar cane. Yes. And then they cook it. Uh -huh. in the cauldron okay. to make it into molasses. Yeah, you would need a big container for that. That is the container. So they make a small amount of molasses only mm -hmm. every day. Mm -hmm. But now there, there's a central, uh, sugar central. Yeah. So there's no use of the cauldron. So the cauldron uses a uh, it makes Fish a great already. a great water feature. Yes, <laughs> and that's very expensive because it's made of brass. Oh my goodness. And that's already antique. Wow, that's amazing. Brass is quite uh, expensive right the, now. Yes, the amount of that is not less than 50,000 pesos. It can reach up to 100,000 pesos. Well, if anybody wanted to take it, they'd have a hard time getting it out of here, wouldn't yes, they? Yes, because it's very heavy. <laughs> yeah. All right, well, we're going to go inside of the house. Of the house. Hilda uh -huh. and Manuel Ophelenia. Yes. This was built in 1934. Mm -hmm. But before this was built, the house there, the other side, and the house here belongs to one lot. Mm -hmm. And there used to be a big house at the center. Okay. The house of the parents of my mother mm -hmm. on my mother's side. And then later on, they gave that lot there to my the eldest son mm -hmm. of my grandmother. Okay. And then the lot here to my mother, the youngest daughter. And then after when my mother got married. So cool. Man. My mother got married. Mm -hmm. they, after having two children, they built this house. And then the old house there at the center was destroyed. They transferred the staircase here. Okay. Yeah, look at how beautiful this yes. is, guys. This is termite free. The wow. termite cannot eat this uh, wood. It's what? made of tindalo. Tindalo is yes. uh, That's it, the name a of special the wood. hardwood? It's a very hard wood. Okay. It's harder than Nara. And then this was built without nails. Yeah. It's all, the old style of building houses uh, okay. where they just stuck in the wood. Mm -hmm. so that it not yes, like, like wood pegs mm -hmm. is what they're wood using. Pegs, yes. Are these the original? The, the lights here, these are original. No, but I mean the uh, the pictures? Uh, those are the uh, pictures of my mother's parents. Okay. And then the pictures of my father's parents. Okay. And this is our family. Yeah, very nice. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Friend. Ramoni was the one who converted this house into a museum. Mm -hmm. He died only this year. Oh, uh, last year. Last year. Sorry to hear uh, that. My mother, when she was 16 years old. I'm sorry, I'm just looking at yes, the, the walls. <laughs> my friends, like for us that live in colder climates, there would be insulation and then there would be another. Ah, double wall. Yeah, there'd no be more. a double wall with insulation. Yes. This is, that's, just how, one... that's how you build in the Philippines. Yes. There's no need for cooling or yes, your... because we're warm here i know <laughs> that's why we have those uh, ventilations uh-huh yes so the circulation of air will uh, go around exactly friends when i came in i could just feel this this house has a nice airy cool feeling yes. to it i thought it was air conditioned and the but... windows are all Yes, the windows are open, it has a nice breeze coming through. The columns are not connected to the walls. Yeah. Because I think the architect wanted to extend the house to make it a little bit bigger. Okay. So that's why the beams and the mm -hmm. columns are not connected to the... Yeah, just as a, a, you know, like you said, as a possibility to be expanded in the future. Yeah. So let's just go to the important places. Okay. These are all original, even the lights here. Yeah, wow. This used to be our pray, prayer room before. Okay. Like a family chapel area? Yes, we used to pray. My mother was very religious. We used to pray here at 6 o'clock in the evening. Mm -hmm. And I'm assuming that she was Catholic? We are all Catholic. I am too. So. Okay. <laughs> uh, I, I noticed the, the, the cathedral, San Diego Cathedral when I came in. Yes. Do you know that uh, church that church was supposed to be bombed during the Japanese era? During I, the Japanese no. war. But it so happened that the general of the Japanese went inside the church and, so, and fell in love with the church so the bombing was not pushed through. It's beautiful. I did a quick... I walked up to the entrance and just kind of it did a little spotted, filming of it. Uh, after St. Peter's. St. Peter's. In Rome. Basilica. The, 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 the design. Wow. The smaller yeah. version. Yeah. Here are the saints from mm -hmm. the farms, mm -hmm. from the farmers. Okay. They have their beliefs. I hope it's true. Uh, <laughs> they cut off the hands because toward of evil. Yeah. They find the hands evil. So most of those old, uh, we call it santos, have no hands. When, mm. Wherever you go in the antique shops, the santos have no hands. Mm. Because so of their you, belief. You'll know it's an antique then. The, there's ah, no hands. So. Yeah. And this is the library. 
Again, we see the Santos. Are you without hands? Are you an American? I am. During the Japanese War, the American embassy sent their soldiers some something to eat. <laughs> so to keep them some rations and. <laughs> I know. It's all about America. I know that the Americans, along with Filipino guerrillas, fought the Japanese uh -huh. in the Philippines. Yes. Did they also do quite a bit of fighting in, in Negros? I suppose so. Okay, okay. And uh. this area, including our house, they were occupied by the Japanese officials before, so they closed the whole street and they stayed here in the mm. houses. Mm. Mm. There used to be a lot of houses here. Okay. Huh. The dining room. Yes. Nice. Collections of my brother. Mm -hmm. And also the wedding gifts to my parents. Yeah. Beautiful. Wow, look at that china. That's nice. Well, you get uh, wood or stone or metal, but the easiest to carve is metal because you hit the metal, it will get soft. Mm -hmm. Like this, it is wood, and they carved it. It has to be inverted. To a metal plate? Uh, no, no, no. No. It has to be inverted so that when you press oh, okay. on the band paper, it will be... Come out the right way. Like a mirror. Okay. Yes. So you apply ink, uh -huh. ink and then you press it there. This is adjustable to the height. Mm -hmm. Then you move it across so it will be pressed down. Yeah. And then move it out again. Once it's there, it will come out like a print. Yeah, okay. And when you buy or sell prints, you have to look at the number. There's a number there. Mm -hmm. I think that's 118. That means to say 118. He made 18 of this. And then when you buy, the lower the number, the more expensive it is. <laughs> if it's number one, that's the most expensive. Yeah, number one would probably be the first print. First print. From so the original. Be, uh, yes, yeah. so it would be very expensive. Yes, sir. Okay, we're gonna head upstairs, guys. It's my first time to guide an American. Oh, is that right? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Have you had other vloggers? This is my the first year that I tour guide because I took over my brother. Oh yes. This is my brother's collection. Oh wow, look at this. This wall belongs to one painter only. Mm -hmm. He's from Silai, from our city. Uh -huh. He didn't have any background in painting. So what he did, he looked at the pictures and tried to follow it. He's self, and he's so self taught artist. Self taught. And he's so poor, he cannot afford to buy canvas. He uses band paper only. Mm -hmm. I'm just so that's why quick. his style are different styles. But he died of uh, tuberculosis. This one are the more famous paintings. Uh -huh. This one is sketched by Juan Lun, one of the famous painters here in the Philippines. Okay. This one done by Jose Rizal, our national oh, hero. Yes. Are you familiar with him? I am. I know that there was a holiday recently. Yes. Jose Rizal. November 30. Mm -hmm. And Amor Solo. Am Kyoko. H.R. Ocampo. Manansala. Watercolor. Those are all Filipino painters. These are Japanese prints. Japanese prints? Who? From Japan. Okay. Um, Different artists. Artists, okay. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Now I know that after World War II, the Japanese helped out the Filipinos quite a bit. My wife was a recipient of Neha. So there was some help from the Japanese Japan. people after World War II to kind of compensate. Not only in the Philippines, I think all over the world. Mm -hmm. These are prints made by, mostly made by Amang Rodriguez from Cebu. It's the, uh, the style of, you know, a kind of a real old Renaissance <laughs> style for some of his paintings. About this house, have you noticed the windows? They have the windows up and the windows down. Yeah, I have. Because of the ventilation. Yes, it gives a great airflow. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can tell I'm, already, I'm sweating. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a white dude, so I sweat a lot, uh -huh. but um, I'm not used to the heat yet, so mm -hmm. I can appreciate windows like this, guys. Yeah, look at that, the bottom and the top, and they're screened so that the bugs don't come in, too. It keeps the mosquitoes out. Editorials in the magazine, mm -hmm. usually page four in the magazine. And the okay. These are the drawings from the editorials. Oh, yeah. 
And from what time period were these dated? These old Philippine magazines, but uh -huh. they involve like Sukarno from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then some new uh, paintings. Okay. Also from the magazines. Okay. okay. From the newspapers. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm looking at this piece. A dumbbell made by Abuela, one of the top sculptors in says, the Philippines. Yeah, 1976. And then he calls these nippled dumbbells because they have nipples <laughs> at the edges. <laughs> Which every dumbbell should have. Ah. Nipples, correct? It makes it a lot more fun to work out. <laughs> Thank you so much for the tour. It was, it was awesome. Thank you very much for visiting us also, sir. My pleasure, Yuri. You are our first customer for the month of January. I'm the first customer of the year. Isn't that amazing? Awesome. So, and your English is fantastic, oh, my no, friend. No, no, no. It is very good. Uh, thank you very much. Sir. So, again, thank you okay. so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet Enjoy you. Yourself. Okay, friends, we're at the uh, second ancestral house called Balai Negrense Museum. And here it is right here. Very nice. Okay, so as we enter the house, this is different than the other one. We had quite a, an amazing tour. This is more of kind of a walkthrough of the house. Yeah, there's all kinds of pictures of the, uh, the Gaston family. And different documents that I will not understand because I kind of need that explained. And the, uh, the history, you know, talked to me. <laughs> Is that a Marine in the family? But again, this house has the beautiful hardwood floors. Wow, look at the stairway. And this lovely piano. <laughs> Picture of Rolex. And again, as you walk in the house, the windows are so big and open and airy. Uh, it just, the air just flows right through here to keep everything cool. Okay, so we're gonna go up the stairs. This has a, like a dual staircase. You walk up to the main landing and a dual staircase on both sides. You know, and the guys, this is probably what the ruins look like. Look at how beautiful this is. Twelve large bedrooms, six on each floor. And they would probably have guests coming to stay. And again, friends, this reminds me of what the ruins might have looked like. Okay, the kitchen in the back at one time was probably just bustling. You know, the years have taken a toll on a house like this. But something like this requires so much upkeep and it's hard for, you know, just a small family to do that. Family of possibly caretakers. I don't know who runs it or what the deal is. You know, look at these nice tall ceilings and the big windows and the big planks on the floor. How nice is that? Big courtyard opened up, overlooking probably sugarcane fields and a, and a small amount of houses from back in the day. Don Victor Leopold Gaston y Fernandez. Hats from back in the day. Oh, 
walk in, how beautiful. This is what the ruins would have looked like, or very similar to this. But this is a beautiful house. Maybe you call it a mansion. I don't know. Okay, this is the side yard of the house. I love those trees with the leaves growing out of them. I'm sure those are vines, but... And again, one of the uh, grandpapa trees in the side yard. Guys, again, I'm in Salai City. I looked at two different ancestral homes in Salai City, and I'm just gonna show you the uh, the plaza, which is pretty cool. So let's kind of take a look at that. So um, I believe this is the the public public plaza of Salai. Looks like there's a basketball court. Festive for Christmas. But yeah, a nice public plaza where the community can gather to go and just enjoy. Look at this great big grandpa pod tree. I love Salai. Yes, I do. This town is clean. There's not a lot of traffic. And uh, it's very organized. So Salai City, good job. What a nice town you have, or what a nice city you have. And I look forward to spending more time here. Salama. Hey, okay friends, we're at the last house in, uh, in Talisai and uh, I have a hard time pronouncing the name of this ancestral house, but I'm having a hard time deciding if it's open or not. It says it's on 36 Rizal Street, so I don't know if this is the place to go or not, but wow, very nice, built in 1927. Uh, I, I rang the, the bill, <laughs> but I don't know if anybody saw him. Hello! Hello! <laughs> There's a doggy. Doggy's home. Hey, doggy! Are you giving tours today? <laughs> I don't know. So I don't want to be going to somebody's house that's not a house that's giving tours, but I did see this online and I'm wondering where it is. <laughs> okay, after <laughs> going over there and bothering the neighbors, I'm going to try over here and see if this is the house. The other side uh, was 35, but the address is actually 36 Rizal. So is this, is this the place? Is this it? Looks like it's under construction. What do you think, Nong? Should I knock? I'll knock and see if... Okay, okay. Hi. Hello. Okay, what's the name of this house? Tanadikam House. Okay. Tanadikam. 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 Na de gang. <laughs> okay. Na de gang house. But it's under it's under reconstruction right now. Okay. They preserve the. Yeah, that's wonderful that they're gonna keep it up and maintain it so that it'll you know so they can show more house tours. Thank you, Nong. I appreciate you know telling me that it's under renovation right now. Salamat. Okay. Bye. Okay. All right, friends. This house is under renovation, so. Um, but 
that's great. It's great that they're upkeeping it so that in the future people can come and, and continue to enjoy this place. Anyhow, the last, the third house was a, I guess maybe a strikeout. But the two other ones that we were able to visit in Salai City, we're actually in Talisai right now, um, were great. So maybe someday in the future I'll be able to come back and look at this wonderful ancestral home and see what's what. But anyhow, thanks for watching. I hope to see you in the future. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and subscribe and like. This is David, your traveling tutor. Thank you for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.